Hello everyone again welcome back to my channel. Today we will see the last and the final part of this four video series. Mass flow meter converter Modbus communication with the Modbus pole simulator software practically. Today we will see the last section that is real time simulation of Modbus value on Modbus pole software from mass flow meter converter. So let's start now. In this section you are seeing that two screens are showing we will see how we can check the flow converter Modbus values on the Modbus pole software. When you insert a Modbus converter USB port into a PC or laptop, if the driver is installed, it will give a com, com port name to the port or if the driver was not installed, it will give an error to install the driver. To check the defined port, go to your PC or computer option. In computer option, right click on the mouse and go to the properties. In the properties section, you go to the device manager section. In the device manager se section, if the driver is installed, you go to the port section. Here you can see that Z ZTAC USB to serial COM port was defined at COM4. This COM port number is very essential during communication configuration of Modbus parameters. When I put the USB out of the laptop, you see the COM4 port is removed from the list. When I put USB again, the COM4 port came again in the list. This is a little experiment you can do for the confirmation of port number. So after minimizing all of your open windows, now we are going to open our Modbus Pole software. When I double click on the Modbus Pole icon, our Modbus software open. Once Modbus Pole software is open, we will now see the Modbus parameter list providing by the vendor for the configuration of Modbus values. You can see if this PDF file first section contain the default serial setup values of the device. You have already seen these values of the flow meter and you also know these values are changeable according to the network demand. And the second section of this Modbus parameter file contain the input register value, data type and function code which we defined during configuration. So now we go to our Modbus POS software and put the default serial parameter to generate the communication between the flow meter and Modbus POS software. As we start the software, it connects the device automatically with its last parameter setting. We will first disconnect it to check and redefine our parameter. We go to the connection and then click on connect. A connection setup window pop up on which we define the serial setup values. As you are seeing in PDF parameter list, board rate is given as 19200, so we have defined 19200 board rate in our configuration. Similarly, parity is defined even in the parameter list, so we define even parity, uh, parity in the configuration also. Similarly, data bit is defined as 8 in the parameter list, so you can see that we have given 8 bits in the configuration also. Same is done with the store bit, that is, store bit is given as 1 on both configuration and provided value list. Also, serial communication port is given as COM4 as we have already checked in our device manager. Once all the parameter was defined similar to the provided parameter list, click on OK. You are seeing that illegal data address option is coming. It means that all the serial parameters are OK and you have now to define the input register, data type and function code. If the configuration parameter was not OK or communication was not established during the wiring, you will get the error of timeout instead of the illegal data address. Then you go to the setup and click on the read write definition icon to define the Modbus register parameter. The read write definition window pop up 
we had written uh, we have written slave id 1 here as it is defined in the serial parameter section you can see that device that device address is given as 1 now we set the modbus register parameter then we define the input register value as you can see in the list it ranges from 30002 to 30013 so we have written value 0 in the address section we denote that our first value is started from 30000 and in the quantity section the values denote that how much register we want to see starting from our address register that is 30000 we put here the number 14 so that it can donate the value up to 30014 register then we change the function code that is given 04 in the parameter list you can see that after changing the function code our plz address came into the range of 30000 also click ok you see that some of the raw values start coming on the screen you have now to set the data type and data formatting of raw values to get the exact modbus values of flow meter right click on the first value you see the first option given is format when you click on format you get the many data type options as you are in the parameter list data type is floating they have and they have mentioned two register for each values so we go to the 32 bit float when we go to the 32 bit float we get the option of data formatting as mentioned in the parameter list the data format is big endian so we select the big endian option so we do this formatting of data type and data formatting to all the remaining register we define here After giving the formatting to all the register, now we give the tag name to the register for better understanding. As you can see the vol volume flow input register is 30002 to 30003 in our parameter list. So we give the volume flow name at number 2 register of Modbus Paul software tag name. Similarly, in the parameter list mass flow is at register three, uh, 30004 to 30005 so in the name list of modbus software we write mass flow at phone number same will be done for the temperature and density they are given the same tag on the modbus software so uh, modbus pole software as mentioned on the parameter list Now we see this value on the flow meter screen also. At first flow meter is at the main screen. We will change the main screen to, the, to see the value of temperature and density. You can see on the flow meter that density value is 1000 kg per meter cube and temperature is 53.15 K which is also showing on our Modbus software parameter values. Now for the volume flow and the mass flow, as the flow converter is not attached to the flow tube, so we have to simulate the value of volume flow and mass flow on the flow meter and, the, and see the result on the value of Modbus Paul software. First we simulate the value of volume flow on flow meter, you have to press the enter key for 2 seconds, go to the simulation go to the volume flow then enter the set value here you can give the value you want to simulate let's suppose we set the value 9 meter cube per second as we enter save the simulation at transmitter side we get the value 9 on volume flow of modbus pole side also similarly we can simulate the value of mass flow also 
as we go back from simulation of volume flow our volume flow of mod bus pole also go to zero so now we will simulate the mass flow on the flow converter we enter the set value of mass flow let's suppose we give it the value of 7.3 you can see this value on mod bus pole side also As we have seen the real value and simulation value, now we see the totalizer on Modbus Pole software. There are two types of totalizer you are seeing in the parameter list. First two were in the double float, means they are uh, in 64 bit, and last two were in the floating point, means it is in the 32 bit. These two have basically range difference, range difference, and value story difference. We will discuss in detail in our further video. So for defining totalizer we go for new window. Here we will first give the range of variable we want to see. For seeing the 32 bit floating point totalizer and address ranges from 30,2100 uh, 30, to 30,2103. First we set our function code to 4. Then in the address section we give the address 2100 that it value start from 302100 and then in the range we give the value 4 as we want to see only 4 register. Press OK you start getting raw values. We will set the formatting again by setting it on 32 bit float data type and big NTN data formatting on both the register 0 and 2 respectively. You will see we will start getting the real values. Now you will give the tag naming to more clarify your values coming on the Modbus poll. The first tag is of mass total, the second tag is of volume total. You can see the same totalizer value on the totalizer screen also. Similarly, for seeing the totalizer value in double float, we again go to the new screen. In new screen, after right click, you go to the read write definition function to define the address of a register. First make the function code to 04. Then for the address as address range is from 32,000 to 32,007. Our track address range from uh, start from 2000 and as the range is up to 32,007 uh, 30, we need 8 register from starting address. Put 08 in the quantity and then press OK. You again st uh, start getting row values on every register we have to set the format to get the real values. We select the register, right click the mouse, go to the formatting. As it is double float, we have to select 64 bit double data type along with the big NTN data formatting. Our real values start coming after, after setting the formatting. Now we will give the, them tag naming to make it more clear. First one is the mass total, second one is the volume total. So now you can see on screen both float and double float type totalizer on the Modbus for software via Modbus communication along with the real value of temperature and density. Thank you for watching my video. I hope so that you liked the content of the video, put your views in the comment box and suggest me about the content you want. And also guide me how can I improve my channel. Your comments and suggestions are very valuable to me, you can also contact me directly via my given WhatsApp number. We'll like to see you in next video inshallah.